All right, gather around, everybody. I'm about to drop some philosophy wisdom bombs on your ass, all right? Just thought I'd make a quick video for the boys. All right, now, when I make videos on this channel, people often get a doom review about things, right? Big tech tyranny, controlling the world, Intel management engine, Congo mines, modern slavery, intellectual property, death in the third world, all that bullshit, right? And yeah, man, the world is fucked. And sometimes people often call me bitter or a pessimist or tell me, ooh, do not care about things that happen in the world. It'll like fuck up your head or something. And so let me actually answer that question. Am I a pessimist? Pessimism of the intellect, optimism of the will. <laughs> this is the quote I will resort to all the fucking time from now on. Comment down below if you know who said this quote. It'll be a cool game we'll play in this video. And yeah, this quote is a fucking mic drop, right? And just another point I thought I'd quickly make is we can zestfully praise countries, governments, or three-letter agencies, or companies even, right? We can sing praises to things in this world, yes. We can be quote-unquote positive, right? Or we can put aside our emotions, that's what it is, it's emotions, right? And we can be critical about things, and we can ask how can we make this place a better world for the next generations, or for the younger generations, or for, you know, our brothers, you get the point, right? People often move to other countries, right? Singapore, USA, whatever, and then they become rich in that country. Because of this, they develop a love for the country, and they, again, go into this emotional praising mode. Indians, rich one, of course, often move to Singapore, get an expensive degree, and then they end up becoming rich in Singapore, and then they start singing praises to authoritarianism, and then they start to love Singapore because they got here, and they became rich. If you love a country, something is wrong with you. The co certain people in the country gave certain people opportunities within that country. At the same time, taking away opportunities from certain people, from other certain people as well. I don't understand how you can love a country, right? All those people who went to the U.S. and became rich because the U.S., or at least people and institutions within the U.S. gave them a certain set of opportunities, also took away opportunities away from other people. All the Bangladeshi and Indian migrant workers who come to Singapore, did Singapore offer them the same opportunities as an NUS degree and a work pass and a high paying job? Not really, right? Do you love Germany? Do you love it when it was the pinnacle of European civilization? Schopenhauer, Goethe, Nietzsche, did you love Germany then? If you did, did you love Germany when it committed the Holocaust about 20 years later? Do you love America when it famously wrote, we the people? This was the first country where something like this was even fathom, right? Yes, the uh, leaders and pioneers of democracy, freedom, libertarianism. I agree. But do you love America when it continued and took part in the most vicious cycle of slavery? How can you love a country, right? You can love a person, your brother, mother, wife, whatever the fuck. How the fuck do you love a country? It makes zero sense. We can sit here and clap till our hands get bruised. We can sing anthems till our vocal cords give out and wave flags till the wind fucking stops. Or, like I said before, we can put our emotions aside and ask, how can we make this place a better world? I will criticize shit till the day I die, but it doesn't mean I am bitter. I will call out bullshit in the world, and it doesn't mean I am full of it. I will keep making videos, no matter how small and insignificant my channel is. I will keep caring, no matter how small and insignificant I am on this universe. I will rebel against the absurdity of it all. Comment down if you know who said that as well. If anything, I am the most optimistic person in the world. In my will, right? And I'll continue to be optimistic and make these shitty videos. So keep up the spirits, boys, and, we, and keep keep fighting the proprietary cups, okay? Cucks, okay? Keep dabbing on the wind fags, okay? And Budarch, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.